hello everyone welcome back to kid k photography this is my kid k and today's video i'm going to show you how to do dodge and burning right in photoshop so yeah this image right on my screen i'm done editing it let me show you guys the before and after of it so this is the before and then this is the after editing yes you could see it here in the navigator very nice and clear so i'm going to show you how i was able to achieve the dodge and burning on the highlight and then the shadows as well so just see a before and after of the dodge and bend this is the before and then this is the after yes you could see it has really popped out the highlight and then the shadows of um the image yes so i did this with my retouching pack but i'm going to create it from scratch so you get a clearer understanding of it so what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to delete this action um this group that is the global dodge and bend yes but before that, i'm going to turn off um, all this so you could see clearly what the image looks like without any dodge and bend yes but yes you still need this retouching pack to speed up your work but i just want you to have a clearer understanding for those who might not be able to purchase this action but i'll, I'll i'm going to recommend it for you yes it's going to really really help you all right so first of all what um dodge and burning simply means is um highlight and then shadows so dodge means highlight burn means shadows all right so we are going to do that with our curves adjustment um, layer so we come to the adjustment panel over here and select curves so we are going to create two curves adjustment layers that's one for the dodge one for the bend so i'm going to duplicate the one we've already created and i'm going to you can choose to name it or leave it that way so i choose to name this dodge and i always keep my dodge on top of the bend yes and you can name this uh bend yes good so let me turn off this and then let's focus on the on the pen so what i said earlier on dodge simply means highlight so if you take if you drag your curves um line upwards you see it, you introduce brightness into the image yes so we don't want it too much you can just do a little bit of it just to boost the highlights yes once you are done you see this layer mask over here invert it so just look at what you've done before and after we don't want it all over the image that's why we are masking it so you can do that with pressing and holding on control plus i to invert it and then now you need your brush to reveal the effect all right now let's come to the bend so with the bend you are going to since we said the bend as shadows you're going to do the opposite of what we did earlier on so you drag it down to introduce shadows in your image not too much yes just a little bit of it and then we are through good once you're done just close it and then see what we've done before and after all right so what you're going to do is just invert it like we did for the for the dodge and then once you are done you can start you can start with any of them but i'll recommend you starting with the dodge that's the highlight and secondly if you want to if you want the easy way to know where your highlights and then your um your shadows are you can create a black and white adjustment layer so you come to the adjustment panel here create a black and white i'm going to give out some settings that is going to help you um, regulate the black and white in a way that is going to pop out the shadows and then the highlight so we know in skin tones we have red yellows yes and sometimes magenta but we are going to focus on the reds and then the yellows so you drag down the reds a little to pop out the highlights same as the yellows as well so now it's easy for us to know that there are highlights here there are shadows here highlights here shadows you understand good so it's like a visual aid for you or to help you know where to dodge and where to bend and when once you are done you can delete it yes so you can choose to group this and then you can name it dmb dmb yes 
so dodge and burn yes all right let's begin so first of all the two you are going to need to do this is your your brush yes just the normal regular brush and then you have to select the soft round brush yes in order to do that so you make sure the hardness is on zero and then you come and set the flow to two percent because you don't want to mess up the highlights on the skin yes so once all these settings has been done you can now dive into it so with your visual aid on you are going to proceed so you can reduce your brush size with your bracket keys yes so you can and make sure your foreground color is on white yes always be very very um uh, okay just be just be sure that your foreground color is on white so that you don't make mistakes because sometimes i find myself doing it on a black foreground color and then realizing it's not showing all right let's continue so you are going to give it a stroke you make sure you are following the highlights on the ties yes and we don't overdo it because we are just boosting it a little uh, on this shoot, I made a smears and baby oils so that I can easily do dodge and bend. Yes. So let's see what we've done before, after. With just these few strokes. Yes. I'm not done. A uh, little highlight here that I can bring in. And then I go in for the dodge. So you can choose to do all dodge. Once you're done, you come to all bend. But I don't want to. I don't want to waste much time so once i'm on uh, an area i want to finish everything over there before i move to the next one yes so i'm done with the bend tools also before and after it's just tiny difference yes so we come back to our dodge be mindful when you are selecting the layers yes i want to dodge the shadows a little and then for the stomach we could see all these places are highlights so just popping it a little and then you come to the bend there are shadows over here yes then now we are moving to the arms and then the face so back to dodge you could see highlights over here reduce the brush size a little brush on it come here too and then we brush on it come to the arms yes make sure you are not overdoing it yes. so that is how you do your dodge and burning I'll be doing a series of videos on how you can master it because it really adds up to the beauty to your image yes giving the image some dimensions to it because you know once you are written you tend to mix out uh, the highlights and then the shadows yes so dodge and burn is like bringing it back again so on the face you can reduce it and then do more on the nose yes, so that the nose doesn't look flat then this part a little not too much we just want to keep everything natural like I've been saying, always try as much as possible to keep your editing natural, yes. So yeah, that's how you're going to nail it. Uh, and then we come back to Ben. So with the Ben, this is shadows, this is shadows, this is shadows. So let's, let's brush on them, just slightly, not too much. Once you are done, you are going to see the effect. Yes. Need to do some for this place too. The armpit as well. And here too. Here too. Sometimes I don't even touch the bend because sometimes your image might have a lot of shadows in a way that if you add a bend you are going to spoil everything so i just do the dodge and then a little bit of it and then i'm i'm through yes i wanted this video to be short but 
I realize I have to give you guys more details so you understand how this actually works. Yes, it's not by just following the tutorials. You have to understand and also know how to do it perfectly. So I'm back to the dodge, trying to bring in some highlight on the fingers. Yes. And then her chin as well. Some highlight over here. Yes. And then I think we are through. Yes. Let me let me give this part. So there's this part over here. I would like to give it a little bit. Yes. And then let's turn off the visual aid, which is the black and white. And then let's see what we've done so far. So before and after. Before and after. Let me try and zoom in so you can see what we've done. All right, so there's our before and after. Let me do it for as the single layer. So dodge is what we did on dodge. Yes. And then bend this is what we did on bend. So it's not too much. Yes, just a little bit of it and then you are good to go. So you see how Dodge and Bending has transformed our image in making it look nice. So this was how it was before. And then here we are. Yes, so let me turn back the other layers and then see before and after. So the other top groups over here are the color grading. If you want me to make a full editing on this image, comment in the comment section below. So I'm going to do it for you guys. All right. So this is how you do dodge and burning right in Photoshop. Yes. I hope this helps you in your editing journey. Stay tuned for another amazing video like this. Peace out.